Hello everyone, chapter 8, part 5. In this part, we'll talk about relations between short-run costs and production. In case of single variable input, in this case, it's the labor. Short-run costs are related to the production function by two relations. Average variable cost is equal to wage divided by average product. Marginal cost is equal to wage divided by marginal product. Again, we only have single variable input. In this case, we do have. Where W is the price of the variable input, labor's input, average product and marginal product. These are the average and marginal product of labor. So remember, total cost is calculated as wage rate times labor plus rental rate, capital's price times level of capital. Okay. So before this, I'm going to go back to this slide. Okay. So as you can see, if average product is increasing, right, something in the denominator is increasing, average variable cost is going to decrease. And if let's pick a different color, if average product is decreasing, right, then average variable cost is increasing. So let's use our logic common sense average product is increasing so on an average the more labor you add on an average they're producing more therefore on an average the cost average variable cost will decline okay and the opposite one is true average product is declining you're adding more and more people but uh, on, uh, as you add more and more workers on an average, you are getting less output. Therefore, your average variable cost will go up. Same relation holds for the marginal cost. Marginal product goes up. So the last worker adds more than the previous one. Marginal cost is going to decline. And if the marginal product is going down, right? The last worker actually starts adding less than the previous one. So this is diminishing marginal product of labor. Then marginal cost is going to climb up. So that's where I stopped when I moved to the next slide, because this is exactly what it says. When marginal product is increasing, marginal cost is decreasing. Same thing when average product is increasing, average cost is decreasing. Okay. And vice versa. When marginal product and average product are um, equal to each other, we are at the maximum of our average product and marginal cost and average variable costs are equal to each other at the minimum point of average variable cost. So if you remember this example, labor quantity, right? Total variable cost, we calculated total fixed cost, total cost. We talked about this, how to calculate these values, right? Variable cost, labor times the price of labor. And in this case, we had total cost was $6,000 all the way across. And we add them up, total cost. Average product is simply quantity produced divided by number of workers. 100 divided by 4, that's going to be 25. So this means in English, translation, on an average, with 4 workers, your, each worker produces 25 units. 200 divided by 6, you're going to get 33, 33, something like that. So with 6 workers, each worker is producing 33.3 units. Okay. And then 300 divided by 9, again, 33.333 units per worker. So and so forth. Okay. Marginal product, change in quantity divided by change in labor. So 0 to 100, 100 divided by 4, that's going to be 25. Next, uh, I'm going to clean it or change the color. 100 to 200, 4 to 6. Increase in quantity is 100 again, 200 minus 100. Divided by 6 minus 4, 2, 50. So you have 25 here, 50. You can calculate the rest. So how do you find the short run cost? Another way, average variable cost, wage divided by average product. Wage rate is 1000. Okay. Average product, right? 25. So if you calculate this, this is going to be 40. This is 40. You can calculate the rest. Short run marginal cost change. Is, we're not doing change. I'm sorry. Wage rate 1000. 
I'm just looking thinking about the general format divide by marginal product here marginal product was 25 so again this is 40 okay so you can pause the video and actually calculate all if you do that you're gonna get this right average product first is increasing right that's good then it's going to decrease when it's increasing average variable cost so this guy is increasing average variable cost is going down then average product starts going down here average variable cost starts picking up we talked about this right same relationship for marginal product and marginal cost marginal product is increasing awesome that means last worker is contributing more than the previous one marginal cost is declining okay then you see marginal oops product starts going down diminishing more uh, returns to labor diminishing marginal product here you're going to see an increase in the marginal cost okay so this is the relationship uh you have average variable cost let's pick a different color you have average variable cost marginal cost curves right check this out they are 100% related, marginal cost is related to marginal product, right? The highest point of marginal product corresponds to the lowest point of marginal cost. You have average variable cost and average product relationship. What was it? Average variable cost was wage divided by average product. So at the highest point of average product, you see the lowest point of average variable cost. Okay, so you can check out the summary of this chapter. Read these, just summarizing. So let's work on Excel example dashes. Okay. Okay, so average product, very simple quantity divided by number of workers, right? And we're going to pull this down marginal product equals change in quantity current quantity level minus previous close parentheses divided by change in labor for current quantity minus previous quant uh, quantity of labor i mean it's not quantity of output so labor i'm going to pull this down we're given this information right wage rate is 1000 so average variable cost is also 1000 divided by it's going to be one thousand dollars divided by average product okay another way to calculate this and you got one thousand dollars again divided by marginal product to find marginal cost you can again draw these graphs so let's draw this chart right you grab these in these and then you get your average product marginal product curves average variable and marginal cost curves and you're going to get graphs looking like this and we are done with chapter 8 i'll see you in the next chapter chapter 9